Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too Yo, what's up guys, it's a like and line In today's video, in the background, you are going to be seeing me play a game of Vacant on Domination on MWR I was playing, and I got like a just over a 3 KD, I think, maybe almost a 4 KD. I went on like a 19 kill streak at one point with a sniper. It was going pretty well. I was playing with Gravy, just chilling. Sorry if you can hear the guy in the background. I left him on because I thought it was funny trying to listen to him record a cut combo while his mic was still on. But anyway, in today's video, I wanted to tell you guys how you guys can hit multis better and how you can get more multis. You know, I know the tips. I just wish I could use them. <laughs> So, the first tip I would say is, first of all, know the spawns. Obviously, if you know where they're spawning, you can predict where they're going to go. And one of the big things about multi is you don't have time to hesitate. You have to right away take your shots. So, make sure you know where they're spawning so you're not searching around for the shot. And you can right away snap on and get that kill. A second thing, like I already said just a second ago, don't hesitate. If you know the guys there, don't take your time lining up your shot. You need to make sure to just snap onto them and hit your shot. You can't spend time waiting, otherwise you're not going to hit a multi. And the thing is, this game seems to be really quick. I, I feel like it's harder than the original COD 4 on stacking. So you got to do it right on time. It's not like MW3 where you have a little bit of time. You have to do it as soon as your bolt gets back. So make sure to always pop and know where they're spawned. Another thing is, know what kind of shot you have. Personally, I prefer ACOG. But if you're a regular scope sniper, that's fine. The Barrett is easier, but people do prefer the bolt action, the M4, or even better, the R700. If you can hit an R700 regular sight multi, that is an insane clip and really cool. So try to just work for what you can do and what your preference is. But obviously, if you're hitting multis with the Barrett all the time, I would try to switch it up and go for some clips with a bolt. When you're sniping, know when to reload. Because here's the thing I mess up on the most. If you have four bullets left, that should be enough. You don't need to reload every single time you shoot unless you've got the R700. Which, although I still do, I like to keep five in the mag. If there's four in front of you, you don't have time to reload a bullet and just go. You got to hope that they don't have jug and go for it. So make sure just have what you need. You, it would be nice to have over, but if you're in a situation where you're in a gunfight and you can't, then just that's the way it is. And don't try to squeeze in a reload before you get the kill or you might miss your opportunity. Also, always be ready to shoot twice. Whether it's Jug, Final Stand, Collapse, there's always something in this game that's making you shoot twice. So make sure to watch out for that. Happens a lot. Happens to me all the time where I think I shot the collider, I think I killed the guy. And then he goes into Jug or Final Stand and I got to turn back around, shoot him. And by then I've lost the opportunity at the feet. The final big tip I'm going to give you, this is one of the biggest tips. If you're playing Kill Confirmed and you don't see anybody in front of you, but there's a tag right next to you, grab the tag. Because the way this works is that your points will stack and the stack will keep going. So even if nobody's around you, you can grab a tag and it'll go from plus 50 to plus 100 and give you a whole nother uh, new set of time to stack on top of it. So if you're playing kill confirmed, a lot of people don't know it. You can just grab a tag and then keep on going. So if there's a tag five feet in front of you, you grab it. Then another tag five feet in front, you grab it. And then another, I mean, heck, now you're at plus 200. Then you can go on and hit some clips. And the nice thing is that, I mean, there's an, it's still going on. Like, the, it's not like it's going to drop and say, no, it's going to restart it because you just got a kill. It will continue stacking the points. So I hope these tips are useful to you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if these tips do help you, and it also does help me. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other links in the description below. And YouTube, we'll see you later. Okay, it started with a dream. That dream turned to a vision. That vision had a gleam. That gleam is now realistic. My friends are beefing now. Like, why you acting distant? I swear all you love is music and ain't got no time to kick.